Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report, DJI introduces Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom. AMA Foundation offers a chance to win a P-51 flight. And AMA announces UAS for STEM national competition winners. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. DJI has introduced two additions to its Mavic series, Mavic 2 Pro with an integrated Hasselblad camera and a Mavic 2 Zoom, the first foldable consumer drone with optical zoom capability. The Mavic 2 incorporates the folding design of the Mavic Pro. The Mavic 2 has new gimbal stabilized cameras and advanced features like hyperlapse and active track and offers a flight time of up to 31 minutes. The Mavic 2 Pro is the first drone with an integrated Hasselblad camera and houses a 1-inch CMOS sensor with a 10-bit D-Log M color profile. Powered by a 1 over 2.3-inch CMOS sensor, the Mavic 2 Zoom is DJI's first foldable consumer drone with zoom, combining 2 times optical zoom with 2 times digital zoom. Both cameras capture 4K Ultra HD video, recording at a maximum bit rate of 100 megabits per second using the H.265 compression codec. An improved advanced pilot assistance system allows the aircraft to analyze its surrounding environment and automatically fly around obstacles without stopping. A redesigned remote controller features detachable control sticks for ease of storage and portability and is also compatible with DJI goggles. The price of a Mavic 2 Pro was $1,449, and the price of a Mavic 2 Zoom is $1,249. In the next general minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. A woman who was hit in the face by a drone during a July 4th celebration at Caesars Palace Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas has filed a lawsuit against the hotel, the Great Lakes Drone Company, and the individual who was controlling the aircraft. The incident occurred June 30th at the hotel. The celebration included a drone light show put on by Great Lakes Drone Company. Direct Relief, Merck, AT&T, Softbox, and Volans Eye are piloting a test of emergency medical supply deliveries using drones to model an innovative approach to disaster response. The long-distance deliveries must comply with U.S. and Puerto Rico laws and regulations for prescription drug delivery, including a documented chain of custody, FAA approval of flight plans, and for some products must be consistently refrigerated to ensure the integrity and effectiveness of the medicines. A drone violated the TFR around the Terwilliger Fire in Blue River, Oregon, grounding firefighting aircraft working on the blades. The drone was first spotted by a helicopter at around 6.38 p.m. local time. Fire manager grounded all aircraft out of concern for safety. The intrusion happened late in the day, with two hours remaining for aerial firefighters to work before stopping for the night. Reportedly, those last two hours can be when firefighters can see some of the most active areas of the fire. A forestry company in Australia is using drones equipped with thermal imaging technology to help spot koalas that might be living in trees slated for harvesting. Hazelwood Forestry Base in Latrobe Valley in the state of Victoria uses the aircraft to look for the animals every day before trees are harvested. Eloise Clooning, who operates the company with her husband Russell, said that they capture and relocate the koalas under a government permit. That was our Drone Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. The AMA Foundation has announced the 2018 Foundation for the Future Sweepstakes is now open. Those 18 years or older can enter to win an exciting trip to AMA Expo West and a ride in Lady Alice 
a P51 Mustang now through October 1, 2018. The Foundation for the Future Sweepstakes is a fundraiser for the AMA Foundation. Donations are not required to enter, but encouraged. All proceeds help the AMA Foundation with its mission to support AMA's benevolent programs. The AMA Foundation would like to thank Dr. Kendall Wagner for his continued support of the AMA and AMA Foundation with a donation of the ride. This year's winner will receive round-trip airfare to California, a three-day, two-night stay at the Sheraton Fairplex Hotel and Conference Center, free admission to AMA Expo West, a rental car and a spending stipend, and a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to ride in Lady Alice a full-scale P-51 Mustang. The AMA Foundation is committed to providing resources for the next generation of aviators through AMA scholarships, club and flying site support grants, AMA flight school and e-learning opportunities, and the preservation of more than 11,000 artifacts in the National Model Aviation Museum located in Muncie, Indiana. On Saturday, August 18th, middle and high school students from across the U.S. competed in the UAS for STEM Programs National Competition at the International Aero Modeling Center in Muncie, Indiana. The student teams built their own drones and competed in various flying challenges for a shot at the national title. The challenge is designed to encourage students to learn about the small UAS phenomenon through teamwork, competition, and success through STEM. The 2018 UAS for STEM Search and Rescue Challenge first place finishers were Megatosh Multirotor T from Peachtree City, Georgia. Second place finishers Quadbots are from Great Mills, Maryland. And third place finishers St. Mary's Civil Air Patrol Squadron from Leonardtown, Maryland. The Dewey Brogberg Junior Scholarship was also awarded to recognize a team member who showed dedication to his or her team, determination, and adherence to the rules and purpose of the competition. Congratulations to Brandon Solon of Canton, Georgia, the recipient of the 2018 Dewey Brogberg Junior Scholarship. Brandon attends Creekview High School and was one of the team members who won both the National and World Team America Rocketry Challenge. UAS for STEM was designed by the AMA to encourage teamwork, competition, and success through a STEM-based education platform. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program are Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe, and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.